Hey, hey guys. guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Nikita and I'm Sarah. In today's video, we decided to share with you guys some useful information about art universities in Poland. Without any further ado, let's go. Okay, so before I start with my questions, um, she will be doing a small introduction about herself, a little bit background about where she studies and many more things. So, Sarah. So, I was born in Ghana, raised in Qatar, moved here to Poland to do my studies, and I'm studying art education and critical studies in, in fine art, Poznan, Poland. Okay, so our next question is, um, can you give us a general idea about the art universities in Poland? Um, the art universities in Poland are very connected, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, like, for example, uh, the universities we have in Warsaw, uh, in art, art university in Warsaw, they are really great. Um, also, the university in Woods, which is also, well, because as far as I know, a lot of great artists from Poland, literally from Poland themselves here, really studied uh, from inwards, I would say. Wow, yes, yes, mm -hmm. you can imagine. Also in Poznan, uh, we have, um, and my university, we also have the English um, language side where you have the professors teaching in English or mostly on, this, on the right side, mm -hmm. uh, more in the Polish, uh, Polish language. Mm -hmm. And we also have also in Poznan University, uh, also an arts uh, university, which is also studying only in Polish. But it's also one of the best schools also here in Poznan, actually. In Krakow and Gdansk, they also have one of the best schools of art studies in Poland. So that's like a lot of choice that you can choose from. Truly. Mm -hmm. But my best options, I would say everyone I've known so far always tells me in Krakow have the best Art university. Even the Krakow city is really beautiful yes. and big yes. and international too, yes, right? It's very, so very it's like a very good choice if you are looking yeah. for arts in Poland. True. So now we have talked a lot about the best mm -hmm. universities in Poland to do arts, but the next kind of uh, important question that mm -hmm. a student or a parent could ask is about the fee. Like Poland is an affordable country to yes. study, but still. I have heard that art education is kind of expensive. Yes. So what would you like to talk about that as an international student? So as an international student, I would say personally, when I am applying for my university, uh, when I checked with the institution fee, which was 5,000 euros. Oh Lord, 5,000 euros. Yes, that's a whole lot. That's like double my fee. Like I do business in Poznan University of yeah. um, Business, mm -hmm. Poznan University of Business. <laughs> so it's like uh, double the fee of mine. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, because uh, the school, actually my university, because we don't have so much international students mm -hmm. that are coming in that who have a full time studies. Uh, so I understand it seems more like a private because um, I mostly have a lot of private lessons with my professors than having over the time, like with the groups, because all the times, every consultation you have, like the professors need to have time for everyone and having in a group sometimes can be really difficult and pressure on the professors. Mm -hmm. So it's always great sometimes when you have like a private timing with the professors so you can improve better and you can achieve your goals. Okay, so the reason why the art universities are very expensive because there are not a lot of international students coming and studying in Poland for arts. Is yes. that the reason? Yes, that could be the reason, but I will not say it's hundred percent that is but the reason. Is it the reason for your university? Yes, because uh, we have much more of a variety of students of international students that are studying from Erasmus students uh, or either their exchange students. So that you have more capability to to stick with them or to talk with them. So it's more like. That like the fact that like you're if you're a student that was here studying in Poland as a full time stu studies you end up having more Erasmus and exchange student than you have more students that is studying a full time like me. Which means uh they will be only with you for the first six months or just yeah. a six months period. Yeah. Okay, so they are they are temporary uh students studying in your university. Yes. Uh, if you're an international student, but if 
also some of the because of the students here mm -hmm. are Polish. You have more of the Polish student than the international student. It's a public university, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so it's like a lot of Polish people there than more of international people, yes. but there are a lot of Erasmus and exchange students yes. coming in. Yes. So you get a good blend of international people too. Yes. Like every six months you get to meet yes. a lot more new yes. people yes. and the uh, class size will also be smaller, right? Mm -hmm. Which is good for personal attention, right? Yes. Even in my class, I have around 24 kids, but in other uh, branches like uh, finance and mm -hmm. all, they only have around eight kids. So it's like a lot of personal attentions that the professor is giving to the students, which is a great thing. I think it's a very great thing because you have more, like, you have more the potential to even do better, actually, because mm -hmm. they have the more time to take care of you, mm -hmm. uh, which is great. And but if you're more to mix with a Polish student, it's you're more likely like to feel like you're you're kind of being behind. Left out. Yeah, left out, mm -hmm. being behind. So it's far better like when you have a private time with these professors are mm -hmm. always much more better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's nice. Okay, so the next kind of popular question that comes in and one's mind is how to apply after grade 12. So I have mentioned how I, I have applied in my previous videos. So if you haven't watched them, please go and watch it. But in this video, uh, Sarah will be telling how did she apply after her grade 12? So and where did she apply from? <laughs> <laughs> Everything right. in detail she okay, will guys. Say. Yeah. Um, after I apply, after I finish my university, uh, high school, <laughs> high school, girl, <laughs> I'm ready to get out of this school already. Okay, so uh, after I finish my high school, right? Uh, actually, I took a gap year before mm -hmm. I did that. And during my gap year, I when I was applying for the university, I literally checked every requirement they need. Okay, you have to meet up with their requirements that they literally want you to. Um, give them so the first of the requirements are like um, the certificate of your diploma, mm -hmm. your diploma, uh, and then or the high school certificate. Like yes, your high school, certificate. your, your grade mm -hmm. certificate, and most importantly, like in your art, when you are in high school, right? All the artworks you have done so far and your best ones, guys, your mm -hmm. best ones, and you have them. Always make sure you have pictures of them and make sure they're always in the best of good quality mm -hmm. and make sure like you when you're um when you're putting them into in a very professional portfolio you need to write down your name when you're writing down your name the dates um the title of it mm -hmm. um a little bit description about it and mm -hmm. make sure you're like make sure even your art teachers even check them for you so that mm -hmm. you they so that when you're applying to the other universities they will feel oh i love your work this i love this person mm -hmm. i think we should you know have the accept them into our like school. the preference is higher with yeah. a better portfolio yes exactly mm -hmm. so um uh, my my university up to 12 like maximum up to 12 nearest like a year of your portfolio you've done so far is the best ones you feel very connected to mm -hmm. choose those ones those ones are very important if you like, if you have someone that who's really uh, like a higher, better than you, or maybe who's even a higher state more than you, let them check your review on, on your portfolio you have chosen so far. And then you can, you're set to go. And second thing is like, you need to have like an English certificate, which is very important. Mm -hmm. um, you can get that from the high school. Yes. Or um, else you can take from IELTS, IELTS yeah, TOEFL, yeah, or anything yeah. like that. Any of them. Uh, um, but you only submitted the high school one. Yes, I submitted the high school and also with uh, IELTS actually. Uh, you submitted the IELTS? Yeah, also okay. submitted with the IELTS. So mm -hmm. you can, with IELTS, it should be like six, I would say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's not a bad score. Yeah, that's not a bad that's score. It's easy to get. So mm -hmm. you should go with six. And also, I would say most importantly, uh, you have to also choose. Oh, also. You have to write down all your uh, things about the things that you love. And let's say if you're chosen photography, right? You want to study in photography. Mm -hmm. You have to write what you love about photography. Like your goal, like yeah. um cover letter kind yeah, of. Yeah, kind of a cover letter, mm -hmm. an essay. And make sure your writing is like mm -hmm. as the best as you can. Mm -hmm. Because as far as I know, 
all these writings that you send them to the universities mm -hmm. um they also combine them also with the erasmus students and they kind of choose who oh, who wow. writings are the best and you can even get you know three thousand slots for for like winning the best writings so oh, wow yeah because yeah, i know i know a friend that you actually um write down her uh, his um essay and he mm -hmm. was really good and he got you know three thousand or five hundred slots for for himself wow yeah having the best that's like uh by the university or like uh some scholarship or something yeah kind of some scholarship can add up mm -hmm. to yourself so kind oh. of gaining for yourself yes that's really nice so yes. we put an extra effort into yeah. our cover letter yeah cover letter there are chances that we can yes yes those are very wow. important <laughs> yes and uh, when you submit all those ones don't don't feel pressure because i i was i felt pressure mm -hmm. but uh, actually really don't feel pressure because the school will take care of everything most importantly the school um will help you out with the filling the document and everything the things you need they will tell you what you need they will be constantly always like there to answer your questions mm -hmm. so really don't feel pressured about it so they are really helpful and yeah the case very, of any queries if we yes. have any yes and what about the mails did they respond you fast yes yes they do actually yeah, even for me yeah they responded like really fast mm -hmm. so they're really helpful in that yeah. case too yeah totally okay so do you have any other information that you want to give to them Yes, I think I would love to share with you guys. Look, you love this school. You have chosen this school. You chose to go and then you're ready and you got accepted in this university and you're so happy packing, get it. Like you have everything done and you're going, bro. Don't be like me, okay? I didn't take all my suppliers. So I thought the school would provide because in my high school, we used to have them being provided for us. Mm -hmm. And I got there and I got to realize that I need to uh, buy all these suppliers, even though you're not into painting and drawing, you still have to um, do it in university. Yeah, you still have to do them. Sure. Yes. It's like visual <laughs> arts kind of thing. Yeah. But then then it's, you're not being forced upon because like in the faculty of painting and drawing, you mm -hmm. have, like I said, you have so many professors and you can wow. choose which one you chose to be with. So don't feel pressured, guys. No pressure. Calm down. There are no people pressure. to guys out. <laughs> no pressure at all. So take them off. And you and the professors are always there to develop, to help you to develop your work. You don't want to be wasting money here and buying all those things because you'll be like, ah, oh, I wish I bought this. I wish I had this. And are they expensive here? Yeah. And mostly, like I say, for like, because I spend so much money in painting and drawing. <laughs> I spent so much, like so much money. She's regretting it a lot. I love painting and drawing, but I had to spend so much money because I had all the suppliers back home, and then I'm here buying all of them all again. Oh shit! <laughs> it was hurtful. But you know, yes, please do bring your own stuff and whatever idea you're chosen mm -hmm. for your projects your artwork make sure that you you know have all the supplies i mean the professors are there to help you to develop your work and your ideas mm -hmm. and help you to uh have a station you know connect with people they'll they might even give you ideas based on what they think that mm -hmm. you should do but always try to keep in mind that what you love in what Bring you out to... what you really want exactly. from your heart. Exactly. That's exactly. true art. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are those ones. And always be that's like take time, like you know, have time to really know what you're doing. Don't feel like pressure, especially I would say like when on your first semester, you will feel a little bit hard because you feel like you know what you're studying in back home. You're used to them. Then now you're in a westernized country. It feels like oh my goodness i'm not understanding anything why is this not making sense okay <laughs> but it's fine it's all fine you can do this you can really do it it's just a process you have to go through it and you quickly instantly you'll be even the best mm -hmm. you never know just be organized yeah actually and be get organized. your things done yes as fast as you can yes. do not procrastinate because exactly. university life is more like that you mm -hmm. procrastinate a lot you put mm -hmm. time and effort for something else like mm -hmm. uh hanging out with friends and yeah, all and yeah, you forget true. your studies at times so yeah 
Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys found this informative. If you found this informative, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And also if you have any queries or any um, comments about this video, don't forget to put that down in the comment section. <laughs> and yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you guys can get notified whenever we upload a new video. Until next time, God bless.